And today I'm doing your weekly love readings. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings, so it cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. Okay? Let's get your reading started. Two are going back. You stay when you stay. On the deck, I have the Seven of Pentacles. Hi, Miss Taurus, love. Okay, so I have the Chariot and the Knight of Wands. Hi, Maritza. Hi, Patrice. And I have the Five of Cups and a Page of Swords. And I have the Five of Swords and the Will of Fortune. So, some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer, a Sagittarius, or an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. You guys could be dealing with that. Or any fire sign or any air sign or any water sign. You guys could be dealing with here. Or earth. Now, it looks like somebody is very inconsistent. Somebody here is very inconsistent. And somebody's deciding to move on. Somebody's thinking about moving on. But somebody here is very inconsistent. Uh, it looks like Somebody decided to move on. It looks like you guys may be missing this person. Community, you guys are missing talking to this person or seeing this person. This person may be spying on you guys. But there was some conflict here. There was some conflict and it felt like this person had you going around in circles on the hamster wheel. But things were just going around in circle. circles. Nothing was happening here. So let's find out about the chariot. Let's see what's going on here with the chariot. Please get more information on the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Please get more information on the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Please get more information on the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Please get more information on the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Okay. So I have the seven of pentacles here. You guys are weighing out your you guys were weighing out your options. If this is worth investing. Because you guys want an expansion with the with the high priest, with not the high priest, but the empress here. You guys want an option, but the and, and you have the knight of wands. This person was very inconsistent. <clears throat> they wasn't stable. So you guys do have you guys do reminisce about this person you guys do think about them you guys have love for them 
but you guys don't but you guys are taking a step back and analyzing the whole entire situation if you should actually invest in this because this person is very inconsistent or you should just move on let's find out and this person may have options as well because you guys want basically you guys want a new beginning that's the reason why you guys want to move on because you guys want a new beginning and the person that you're dealing with is not offering you that this person probably has options so that's why you guys are debating you know not debating not really debating analyzing the whole entire situation and we have the knight of wands in here twice so let's find out about this knight of wands let's see what he's all about Please get, more for, uh, please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Please get more information on the Knight of Wands. Okay. There was a party going on right here. Yes, it was. Look at this. The lovers. And we have the king of swords upright. Somebody that's not interested in a committed relationship. Because we have the hair front in reverse. And the three of swords in reverse. So whoever you guys were dealing with, this person was not interested in a, in a relationship. This person could have broke your heart. They could have ended up hurting you. Because you guys saw this person as a soulmate, but this person, they wasn't interested in having a relationship. There was the only thing that was, they was interested was, was in having an affair. Was having an affair. And that's all it was. They just want to have an affair. They just want to be having, you know, just they just want to be having sex, and that's it. They wasn't looking to get into no relationship at all, and it looks like this person could have told you this. For some of you guys, this person came out and told you that they did not want commitment at all because the King of Swords, he's upright, and the King of Swords, he speaks truth. So this person came out and told you, I'm not interested in a committed relationship at all this person had options this person has options they just wanted to have they just wanted to have sex with you they just want to have an affair and that was it they just i mean it was you know that's all it was they didn't want more than that just and you know and or this person was a this person was already this person could have been involved with somebody if there was there was with the three of swords here it could indicate is indicating that this could have been a three party for situation for some of you guys it wasn't a three party because not everybody is in a three party for situation for some of you guys this was a three party situation that's one of the reasons why they can't offer you commitment because they're already in a committed relationship for other of you for other of you guys it wasn't a three party situation this person simply wasn't interested in getting in a committed relationship because they just wanted to be free they just wanted to be out there and free. So let's find out about the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Five of Five of Cups here. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Okay, this says a lot. Seven of Wands. This person was pushing you away. The Four of Pentacles. This person was emotionally closed off. Hangman. This person basically had you in limbo that wasn't making a decision. So you know what? The Two of Wands. It's time to choose a different path. Yes, it is. It's time for you to move on and choose a different path. This person is pushing you away. They're not opening up to you emotionally at all. They got you in uh, limbo. And some, and some of you guys 
are missing this person. You guys, I mean, you guys miss this person. You guys, you guys are mourning this person right about now. You guys could be mourning them. And you know what? With the two of swords, it's time for you to make a decision. What you going to do, Scorpio? How? What are you going to do? Because it's time for you guys to move on. Because it's not working out in this situation. This person already told you that they're not interested in a committed relationship. You need to move on. Either, <coughs> either they're already in one. Or they just, oh, they don't want to get into one. Okay, and they got you in a three-party situation. So, the same way you get them is the same way you're going to lose them. This person here, they're not interested. At least as of right now, they're not. As of right now, this person is not interested. You guys could be dealing with somebody that's self-centered, self-absorbed, that's very prideful. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus, uh, Virgo, who else do I have here? Cap you guys could be dealing even with a Capricorn because I have the King of Pentacles in reverse here. It's the bottom of the deck. You guys could be dealing with somebody that's very career focused, that's prideful with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very prideful. He's stubborn. He could be an authority figure. He's uh, He could be a cop. He could be in the military. He could be a director. He could be a manager. This is somebody that could be kind of aloof. This is a person that will comes across as if they're not interested when they actually are interested in you, but they show no type of emotions. They don't open up to you. It's like they'll drive. It's like they'll have you going crazy. It's like you be over there guessing: Is this person interested in me? Is this person not interested in me? This person is not interested in commitment. The King of Swords does not like commitment at all. He runs from commitment. And this person already told you this, and they were being honest with you. They wasn't lying when they said they didn't want commitment. Let's get some more on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Please get more information on the Five of Cups. Okay, this is the best thing you guys can do. The sun is in reverse because you guys have doubt. There's doubt here. You don't you don't trust this thing. Why? Because we got the six of pentacles here. Things are not fair. Things are not equal. You doubting this whole entire relationship or oh, not relationship, situationship. Because you guys are not in a relationship with this guy. You guys are in a situationship, and. We got the Queen of Cups here in reverse. So you guys are already emotionally closed off to this person. And you're walking away with the Eight of Cups. You're walking away. I am getting so freaking hot. Hold on, guys. Let me take off this sweater. Cause I am getting hot. I'm about to burn up. Whew. So you guys, are, somebody here is walking away. You guys are walking away. Let's find out about the... You guys are emotionally closed off to this person already. Let's find out about this Page of Swords. Please get more information on the page. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo as well. Or uh, Pisces. Please get more information on the Page of Swords. Please get more information on the Page of Swords. Please get more information on the Page of Swords. Please get more information on the Page of Swords. Please get more information on the Page of Swords. Please get more information on Page of Swords. Please get more information on the Page of Swords. Please get more information on 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 Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Page of Swords here. Okay, let's see what we got going on here, baby, baby, baby. Okay. The Ace of Wands. New beginnings. You have you have opportunity here for a new beginning. You have opportunity here for a new beginning. Something that you guys desire. That you want. Because. And the Three of Wands is in reverse. You guys are no longer waiting on this person. Because you guys are fed up. You guys are fed up with this person. I got the Queen of Swords here in reverse now. Now I got a husband and wife. I got a couple here. The Queen of Swords, she's pissed off. 
the queen of swords in reverse she's pissed off and she's done with this situation she's fed up enough is enough i'm tired of this shit i'm no longer waiting on this whoever this person is i'm no longer waiting on this i'm moving on i'm tired of this i don't want to work on this I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to hear you breathe. I don't want to see your face. I do not care. I do not want nothing to do with you. I am in, I'm strong and independent. I don't need you for anything because I got this. You see this? I could do this all by myself. I don't need your ass to help me pick any of this damn corn. I will pick this damn corn all by myself and I will do it right. I don't need you here at all. And at the bottom of the deck, the King of Swords is, I mean, the King of Wands. Yeah, the King of Wands in reverse because you guys are no longer interested in this person. You guys no longer interested. You guys, it's like you guys are done waiting on this person. You're done. You guys just want something new. You want new, 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 new. You ain't trying to work things out with them. You ain't trying to do it. You don't care. Please get more information on the Page of Swords. Please get my information on the page of swords. Let's page the swords here. Please get my information on the page of swords. Please get my information on the page of swords. Please get my information on the page of swords. And look, let's see what's going on here. Things ended. Wherever there's an ending, there's a new beginning because we got the wheel of fortune. This ended with you guys, but guess what? The wheel is not going to start. The wheel is going to start turning in your favor now. Some of you guys will end up dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. So things ended between the both of you guys, but the wheel's turning and destiny is at play here. So now things are going to start falling in your favor because you guys are no longer waiting on this person. You guys are now making the decision to move on. Because you guys know you deserve better. And you guys are fine being single. You are content. You guys are content being single. You don't have to be with this person. Because this one, this person wasn't offering you guys anything either way. Keep in mind, this goes vice versa. So if I'm not picking up on your energy, I'm picking up on other person's energy. So if you guys need a flip it, Scorpios, then you go right ahead and flip it. And flip it like you're flipping burgers. Okay? And this also applies to the men, not just to the females. So, as I was saying, you guys are content being single. You guys are not going to worry about this person anymore. Because this person wasn't offering you anything. They had you in limbo. And you couldn't get any stability with them. Either they was already in a relationship. Or they wasn't, they wasn't offering you one. Because there was an interesting one. Let me tell you this. If they're already in a relationship and they're messing around with you, you don't want to deal with that person because what makes you think that person is not going to do the same thing to you with somebody else or better yet with that person? You need to leave it alone. If, you're gonna, if you have to be competing for somebody's attention, competing, fighting, competing with somebody else to be with somebody, that person is not meant for you. They're not meant for you. If it's meant for you, you won't have to fight for it. You don't have to compete for it because it's yours. Okay? If you have to be fighting for somebody's attention, if you have to be competing with, for, with somebody else, then you know what? That person is not meant for you. It's not yours. It's not meant for you. You might as well leave it alone and keep on moving because the one that's meant for you is going to come in and guess what? You won't have to do any of that stuff because this person's going to want to be with you. They're going to want to spend time with you. There ain't going to be nobody else in the picture. It's only going to be you because that person is meant for you. Okay? So, in this situation, things are coming to an end. You guys are moving on. And being that you guys are now making a decision to move on, to completely end this, New things are going to start opening up to you. New doors are going to start opening up for you. But you have to let this happen. You have to let it happen. You have to let it uh, open. You have to let it happen. You have to let it unfold naturally. Don't try and force it. You know, don't try to you know, don't try to do anything. Of course, you need to do your part on it, meaning 
get out of your house because you're never going to meet anybody if you in the house. So you have to go out, you know, do your things, but don't be trying to go out there with intentions to meet your husband or your wife. Just go out there, have a good time, no expectations, and you never know. You might end up finding the person. The person might be the bartender. You never know. And when I, and if that person is a bartender, guess up, get what? person will hook you up with some free drinks and then at that point you'll be uh, emailing me telling me hey Inez meet me at the bar I got the hookup over here my man or my girl she's a bartender she could hook you up with a whole bunch of free drinks and I'd be like hey I'll be there in five minutes I'd be like give me about 15 I'll be there it could be like that just saying or it could be the person that does your nails right Go to the nail salon, that tech that's right there. You be like, yo, Inez, I got the hookup for the nail. I got my boo does nails. Come down here so you can get yourself a free full set. All right, I'm down. Can I get my toes do? Hell yeah, girl, I got you. you. Never know. Just do what you gotta do. Just stay still and let it happen. Don't try and force anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, hold at me. I'll be there, shit. So let's find out about the five of wands. Please get more information on the five of wands. Please get more information on the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Please get more information on the five of wands. Please get more information on the five of wands. Please get more information on the five of wands. Please get more information on the five of wands. Please get more information on the five of wands. Please get more information on the five of wands. Give them information on five of wands. Okay, so we have the five of wands, the four of cups. This person was this person was feeling conflicted. When it came to this, this person was feeling conflicted. They were not interested in this. They had, I got the five of pentacles here. This person had you feeling left out, abandoned, because you really wasn't part of their life. You wasn't really part of their life because they wasn't interested in commit in a committed relationship. So if they're not interested in it, they're not, they, the way they see it, they're not obligated to you at all. So they don't need to include you in their life. Why? I'm not, you're not my girl. I'm not your man. I don't need to report to you. I don't need to answer to you. I don't need to include you in my life. So they wasn't interested. You guys were feeling left out and abandoned. This person was not making any offerings at all with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This person, the Five of Swords here, they was busy playing mind games with you guys. That's what they was doing, playing mind games here with you guys. And guess what? The Empress here. All I'm picking up with that Emperor was pride was pride and ego pride and ego baby that's all i picked up was pride from the moment i touched it all i got was pride and ego and this person being stubborn stubborn to their ways now not willing to change their ways or change their decisions once they made a decision uh-uh i'm not changing it i already told you i'm not getting into a relationship i don't know why you be asking me to come over here to your house and be cuddling with you I ain't trying to cuddle with you. I ain't trying to get into no relationship. Yeah, I'll go over there and hang out with you for a little while. But I ain't going to be where I'm going to be staying with you all the time. No, I got things I got to do. I ain't looking for no relationship. No strings attached. And this person likes control. He got that pride and ego. This person got a lot of control. This person, they had you feeling with their actions and made you feel rejected. But if they didn't reject you verbally, it was with their actions. They will, if they came around, they came around, they would stay with you for a little while. They would do their thing and they will leave. They would not include you in any of their thing. If they were doing, you know, having little parties, get together, outings, whatever. They didn't include you in that. You guys were not part of their life. They basically told you what they wanted you to know, which it really wasn't much what they was telling you. They wasn't making any offerings to you. This person was playing a lot of mind games with you. It wasn't worth it. It's not worth it. And look, 
we got the wheel of fortune in here twice so like i said destiny's at play here let's find out what this wheel of fortune is all about please get more information on the wheel of fortune please get more information on the wheel of fortune why is the wheel of fortune here please get more information on the wheel of fortune please get more information on the wheel of fortune please get more information on the wheel of fortune please get more information on the wheel of fortune Please give me information on the Wheel of Fortune. Please give me information on the Wheel of Fortune. Please give me information on the Wheel of Fortune. Please give me information on the Wheel of Fortune. Please give me information on the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing, uh, I don't know if I said, but some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo as well. I have a Libra in here. I have Aquarius Taurus. I have Aquarius Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. This could be dealing with another Scorpio. I have Aries in here. Um, who else do I have? I have strong Scorpio, Leo, uh, Libra, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius, uh, Pisces. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So what we got here? Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune, I got the Three of Cups. Somebody now wants to reunite. Somebody wants to reunite because now somebody wants to speak their truth. Somebody wants to speak truth here. Because now this person is no longer feeling conflicted. They feel no longer feeling conflicted about commitment because the stars here, they still, they have, somebody here has hope. Somebody here is, this is going to be like a wish fulfillment for you because now this person is going to want your attention with a six of wands here. They're going to want your attention. So I could see why is I could see why the wheel of fortune is here because because this is clarifying the wheel of fortune. So you got the star with the wheel of fortune in here. So this is gonna be like a wish fulfillment because this person now is gonna want to reunite with you. They're gonna want to come clean and tell you the truth. They no longer feeling conflicted when it comes to be in a relationship, and they're gonna be trying to get your attention because. They're looking for the Ten of Cups now. So this person is no longer feeling conflicted when it comes to the to commitment. So something must have happened here. Something happened. Something ended up happening here. It's not telling me what happened. But this all has to do with the Wheel of Fortune. Everything has to do with the Wheel of Fortune here. Because the Wheel of Fortune is in here twice. It's here as a clarifier. And it's here part of and it's here as one of the as part of your spread, the wheel of fortune. So something takes place here because now this person is coming back, wanting to reunite with you, coming clean. You guys gonna see this as a wish fulfillment. Now they want. Now they're looking at commitment with you. What happened? What changed? Something must have changed here. The cards are not telling me what changed, but I know something changed because keep in mind a few months ago or a year ago whatever this person was so gun ho on not getting into a relationship at all this person was stubborn they would not change their mind it's like no 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 they come in and out in and out hit it and quit it you know just psh, go they were doing their thing and they left all of a sudden now they're coming back wanting a relationship with you what happened what changed? This is something that you guys need to be asking them. Because if this person contacts you wanting to get into a relationship, you guys need to find out what happened. What changed? Now that they want relationship. Yep. Scorpio, some of you guys, I have strong Aquarius in here as well. You guys need to find this out. Okay. So let's get you a guidance message here. Please give me a guidance message for Scorpio. Please give me a guidance message for Scorpio. 
keep in mind this goes vice versa so if i'm not picking up on your energy i'm picking up on another person's energy so if you guys need a flipping then by all means go right ahead and flip it baby flip it like you flipping burgers okay and this also applies to the men and not just to the females okay can you please give me a guidance message for scorpios please give me a guidance message for scorpios please give me a guidance message for scorpios here we go time spirit work together as a team cooperation enthusiasm loyalty and kindness will ensure a successful outcome okay so this is all i have for you guys i will see you guys again you guys take care be safe don't forget to be safe don't forget to like share and subscribe and also uh don't forget to wash your hands and while you at it scorpios Wash that ass, okay? And Scorpio, stay cool. Bye.